Hi everybody. Okay, so for those of you that have an Excalibur crossbow that would like to upgrade to the Trigger Tech Trigger, I'm, I ran into a problem. I'm going to show you what I did to fix that problem. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, when you perform this procedure is you're going to need to remove uh, your scope and rings so you you know so you can work in this area without any obstruction the next thing that you need to do is you need to remove there's four three thirty second screws there's two right here and then on the other side opposite side in the same place are where the other two are at those have to be completely removed and it takes a uh, 330 second Allen wrench to remove that. You want to make sure it's a good uh, a good Allen wrench, one that doesn't have the edges chewed up. So I went to remove the screws and I got I got all three out except this one right here absolutely would not come out. Now these these do have you can see from one of the screws that I took out uh, I don't know if it even shows up in here, but this does have Loctite on it. But uh, this screw here absolutely would not come out. And I started stripping the head out, and so I stopped. And so I slept on it and just trying to decide what would be the best way to go about get, get, getting it out. You, you really can't, you can't grab it with a pair of pliers because as you can see it's got a pan head and there's there's just nothing to grip onto so I had thought about drilling it out but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to end up messing up any of this material here so the best uh, thing it seemed to do or to try was to get a Dremel tool I use this tool right here. This is actually a Proxon. It's a model uh, FBS, and it's nice because it's got a. It's German made. It's a real good one, and it's got an adjustable chuck on it here. But anyway, when I bought this, um, it came with uh, these these cutting these cutting discs, and so what I did was. I took this disc and with two hands very carefully I came in here and I just slightly back and forth put a slot into the top of that head. Now if this does happen to you and you attempt to do this don't go back and forth this way because you don't want to take a chance on accidentally getting into this you know accidentally touching that rail with this disc so anyway I was able to slot it out real nice and when you go to use your screwdriver don't use a screwdriver like this one where the the end is rounded off you know use a good wide flat crisp blade and I was able to I got a real nice fit and it I was able to break it and take it out and I don't know how well that's showing up but that just you can kind of see how I slotted it So anyway, if uh, I can't believe I'm the first person that this has ever happened to, so <coughs> if excuse me, if that does ever happen to you, trying to perform this procedure, uh, that would be my recommendation, and it worked well for me. And uh, well, God bless you, and I hope that helps you out. So bye for now.